Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Hi everyone, and welcome to Traders Point Kids Online. We are so glad you could join us today. We want this to be a fun family experience, so gather everyone together. Today, we will worship and hear a Bible story. Then, we will bust our fear with a fun science experiment. Afterwards, you can talk about what we learned today using the parent discussion guide on our website. Before we get started, you will need a Bible or a Bible app. I will give you one minute to go and find that. If you need more time, then you can just hit pause right here on the bottom of this video. When the timer hits zero, go ahead and stay standing because we will start by worshiping God through singing praises to Him. Ready? Go! Church, church has been clapping at week sermons Leaving the week hurt, no one's changed by Sunday service We need discernment, check what you be affirming Cause the church can be full of members, but empty in conversion Read the gospel, and stand back Look for change lives, not for hand clash Love people well, oh they can't stand at the church Just the church with the words, but we stand there Surrounded, 
makes me wanna lift my hands, dance and sing. Oh oh oh, your love for me. No matter where I go, I know you're there for me. Oh oh oh, your love. everyone, welcome to Traders Point Kids Online. My name is Mr. Bill and I'm so excited that you could tune in with us. We're trying something different today. We are going to be introduced to a team of, well, let's just check out the video. In a world full of fears. Huh? There is a team on a mission. They are the Fear Busters. Who are you going to call? Fear Busters. Wow, that was great. Now, I actually knew that we were talking about fears today. So all week long, I've been going around asking people to tell me what they're afraid of. Now, I have that list right here. It's kind of long. But I'm going to read a few of them to you and see if you maybe have ever been afraid of some of these things too. Let's see. Spiders, for sure. Clowns, the dark, homework, sushi, and monsters. Classic, right? And you know what? I think busting the fear of monsters seems like the perfect thing for us to do an experiment with. Now, I'm no fear buster, but this is something I know I can handle. Let's find out. We've got four different materials here. We've got the green, the red, the blue, and the yellow. So we're going to make a monster spray. And we're going to test it out to see if it really works. Now, first thing, apply safety goggles. Second, I am going to take the green and I'm going to pour it in to the red. And together, these two ingredients, I believe, will make a monster spray that will ward off the fear of any monsters. Here we go. Don't spill it. Don't spill it. Oh, darn it. Oh, anyway, okay, it's all right. Quick, close it up. All right. Now, I don't see any monsters. We'll just have to spray it in the air and see how it goes. Oh! Oh! Oh, that stinks! Really bad! Oh! I don't think I made monster spray. I think I just made stinky spray. Uh, uh. All right. We're going to go to plan B. I'm just going to put the blue into the yellow because that makes green and monsters are usually green. Okay. That's working. But... Oh! That... Worse than the first one! Oh, God, don't let it out! Oh. Oh. Alright, look. I don't think I succeeded in making a monster spray. But, well, I guess the fear of monsters isn't that big of a deal anyway. But what about, what about the fears that are real and that are a big deal, right? We better check in with the fear busters to see what they think. Hey guys, Field Agent Trey here. We're just getting the truck ready to head out, but before we go, it looks like we have a fear to bust, so let's see what we got. Whoa. Okay, wow. Um, hey, Grant Harper, y'all need to come check this out. What is this? A list of some fears to bust? I'm glad you called us in. I see spiders, clowns, loud noises, lima beans. Some of these make sense, some not so much. Fear can look a lot different for each person. Good thing we know how to bust this. That's right. There's really only one thing that can bust all of these fears, and that's prayer. Prayer is talking to God and telling Him what you need. That's right. 
Prayer is talking to God and telling Him what you need. And Jesus tells us exactly how to do that in the Bible. Take a look. Trey, can you look at the lights? Yeah. Oops, sorry. One day, Jesus' friends, the disciples, saw Jesus praying. They wanted to know more and asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. The disciples gathered around and Jesus didn't just tell them how to pray. He showed them exactly how to talk to God. Jesus started his prayer off by thanking God and telling him how great he is. God loves us, takes care of us, and is always with us. We can show him how much we love him by thanking him for all that he has done every single day. God cares about everything that is going on in our lives. So the next thing Jesus did was ask God for the things they needed. God wants us to talk to him about the way we feel and the things we need. Big or small, God cares about them all. Maybe it's something big like helping someone in our family who is sick, or even something simple like having a great day at school with our friends. The last thing Jesus did was ask God to forgive them and help them to do what's right, like forgiving others. And that's the way we should pray. Okay, Trey, you can turn the lights back on. There's really no right or wrong way to pray. Jesus just wants us to know that we can always talk to God and He will help us. How cool is it that we can talk to God about anything, anytime, no matter what? So this whole list of fears, things like spiders in the dark, can be busted by talking to God. And even lima beans? And even the fear of lima beans can be busted with prayer. That's right, and you know what that means. Looks like these fears are... Busted! That was awesome! They busted all those fears on that list with one solution. Crazy, right? Fear busters to the rescue! They're a fear-busting dream team. They just prove that there's not a single fear out there that can't be busted by praying. No matter what fear anyone faces, we just have to talk to God about it. It's genius! You know what that means, don't you? This fear is busted! Now, let's check out our big idea for the day. Where's the spider? Well, that was fun. Were you able to keep your eye on the spider? Okay, just as we heard in the Bible story earlier, the disciples, Jesus' close friends, saw Jesus praying. They asked Jesus to teach them to pray. So, Jesus gave an example of how to pray. We first tell God how much we love Him. And second, we can ask for our needs. And third, finally, we can ask for forgiveness. Easy enough. But then, Jesus goes on to keep teaching about prayer. He wanted His disciples to understand the heart of God, not just follow a three-step formula. Jesus gives different examples to show how much God loves to hear from us and how much He cares deeply for every single one of us. Did you know that? Well, let me say it again. God made you. You were so dearly loved by God, He wants you to talk to Him through prayer. He delights in answering your prayers. I want to take another look at the Bible story Harper talked about. So go ahead, get out your Bibles or a Bible app on a phone or a device, and I'll give you a minute to find it. We're gonna go to Luke chapter 11, verses 11 through 13. If you have trouble finding it, it's okay. Have someone around you to help, and if it takes more time, you can always hit pause.
Hopefully, you were able to find the verse. If you need more time, no worries. Feel free to hit pause until you're ready. All right, let's read now from Luke chapter 11, verses 11 through 13. You fathers, if your children ask for a fish, do you give them a snake instead? Or if they ask for an egg, do you give them a scorpion? Of course not. So if you, sinful people, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Do you hear what that's saying? This passage is talking to dads, but the verse applies to us too. Let me say it a different way. Pretend your best friend has a birthday coming up. They're having a small party and invited you to come. You're super excited because you like this friend. So it comes time to pick out a gift for their birthday. Nobody wants to give their best friend a bad gift, right? I mean, if your friend loves Taco Bell and asks you for a gift card to Taco Bell, you want to give them an old sock? Ugh. Or, or what if they love Star Wars and wanted the latest DVD? Would you give them a snake? Ugh. No! No, you like this person. They're your friend. So you would give them a good gift. Now, what Jesus is telling us here is that God is like that too, except even better. He is not just our friend. He made us. He chose us. He even sent his son to die for us. God will answer our prayers and wants each of us to find joy in him. Now, when he answers our prayers, it doesn't always mean he is going to say yes. There are times when bad things are still going to happen. But look at what the verse says he's going to give us. He said he is going to give us his Holy Spirit. That is an amazing gift because then when those hard times come, God is right there with us as we go through them. And that is a tremendous gift, the best gift ever. Now, Let's not forget that we can pray to God anytime, especially when we are afraid. We can bust our fear with prayer. Now, we're going to go ahead and pray to God right now, and we're going to follow the example that Jesus taught us and taught the disciples of how to pray in the Bible. Okay? So let's close our eyes. Father God, you are good, and you love us, and we thank you so much for that. We just pray now that we would always be reminded when we're fearful that we can pray to you anytime, anywhere, and you will help us through those times. We also want just to ask your forgiveness for our sins. That's when we mess up and don't do the things that you would have us do and that would separate us from you. But you sent Jesus and he died on the cross for our sins. So that when we ask for this forgiveness, you say yes and that Jesus is alive and we no longer have to be separated from him amen all right i am so so thankful that we can talk to jesus about anything anytime we want now worship is a time to think about god and focus on him and is just another way that we can talk and communicate with god so let's stand up together and sing one more song
We gather here to sing your praise for your power and your might. Set our hearts on your name. You are Jesus. You are life. Everything good is from you, Father. So. to bust your fears by remembering to pray and ask God for help. And don't forget, today is Mother's Day. Take a minute to say thank you by doing the dishes or some other task around the house. Our parent discussion guide is on our website, so be sure to check that out. We hope that you and your family will remember that you can bust your fears with prayer. Thanks for joining us today, and happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. See you next week.